Russia is on the quantum map, apparently. Yeah, What's up with I, that? I follow this quantum international stuff pretty closely. Russia has been working on a quantum computer for 10 years. And they finally announced that they have one. It's a trapped ion computer. It's got 16 qubits, which is pretty tiny. Yeah. We're working on something for 16 years. So um, I don't know what they're going to do with it. It's uh, it's being it's, it was built by the uh, state-run atomic energy company called uh, Rosatom. So um, I don't know what they're going to do with 16 qubits, but uh, it's important to Russia, and we've got one more pin in the map. So it's a great hey, thing. Paul, Paul, what do you you know with all of the um, geopolitical you know, political stuff? stuff going on right between the west and <laughs> russia west and china what impact do sanctions and technology sanctions in particular have on their ability to advance their you know quantum um vision if you will yeah it, it applies you know to certain technology like nvidia's technology but if you would do a, a search today on uh quantum and ai particularly in quantum, uh, probably 50% of them would be, 30% would be, uh, would have a list of Chinese uh, researchers and China universities. So, and there's a lot of cooperation between China and the U.S. and different company, countries on quantum and AI research, particularly quantum research. So, you know, in one sense, we need to, you know, guard the, uh, guard the, state goal, but in the other sense, uh, there's a lot of good that comes out of cooperation between different researchers in different countries, so. Sure, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I guess there's the academic and there's the political, right? And they, yeah. yeah. Well, and there's yeah, the yeah. militaristic, academic. you know, as well, oh, which true. is kind of scary. Yeah. Yeah, you know, Chinese academic is controlled by the state, but still there's a, that cooperation between the countries, so.